Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing something I have not done a lot of, and if I have done it, it's not gone well. So we could have a miracle today and it could be an absolute masterpiece or it could go as it normally goes and okay, it's not gonna look great. But we're gonna go for it because we need to practice this and that's why we're doing it. It's all practice, it's all learning. We're gonna be using this canvas for it. Now, I've never used a round canvas either, so it's a day of firsts. It's all learning, we're gonna experiment. The technique we're gonna be using is called a Dutch pour. So we're gonna flood this whole canvas with white acrylic paint. We're gonna add in some different colors down the bottom here, running straight across. Then we'll be adding some more white paint just above the color, blow it across, and then blow the color up and out. That's the plan anyway. Let's see if we can execute it. Let's go. Off screen now, I'm gonna go gesso the canvas. If you want to know how to do that, I've got a whole video on it. Go on my channel, check that out. It's on, It's called How to Gesso a Canvas. Have a little look. It's only about seven minutes long. It just really helps. It's how I learn through YouTube videos as well. So it's a necessary step as well, especially for pore painting, just to get that flat surface down below. Even if your canvases come pre-primed, like most of them do, still gesso. So go watch that first. Pause this video, go watch that, and come back for the rest of the video. Everything I use today, canvas, gesso, things you see on screen, off screen, paints, I will link down below. So go check them out if you're wanting to do this yourself. Also, I will link my Instagram and TikTok. You will see again on my channel a couple of TikTok videos that I've posted. So check those out, they're between 30 to 60 seconds long. So just cool to see a quick four. Um, some of my favorites as well. So go check that out. Whilst you're there, don't forget to subscribe as well because that would mean everything to me. So that'd be amazing. We're already starting out. So every single subscriber means everything to me. So. And for the ones that are coming back, thank you. Thank you for coming back to my channel. It's lovely to have you here. And let's start painting. Okay, everyone. So we have our canvas now gessoed, completely dried. We have our paints mixed. So we're going for kind of, I'd say, autumnal sort of colours. A lot of metallics. We like metallics. And we have our we have four pots of white for flooding. Now, like I said, this has never gone right for me, so we're gonna give this a go today. Let's see how it turns out. When you do a Dutch pour, you do want your paints a little bit thinner than you would a normal pour painting. So if you can see, the consistency you're wanting is, see how it's just running off like that, right back into the paint. That's what we're wanting. Now we're gonna start by just flooding the canvas with our white. So we've got the white here and we're just going to cover the whole canvas. See so how it's just running off very thin. Perfect. Nice flat surface. Okay, now I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but we have air bubbles. If we were to leave them, you'd get all pinholes on the final result. So just want your blowtorch, go over them, pop those bubbles just to get rid of those so we don't end up with little pinholes. We have our hairdryer, and we're gonna put our paints along here, and we're gonna blow them out that way and along there. You're wanting it at this angle, so not on top like this, because it's not gonna work that way. You're gonna to wanna to push it up and out like this and like this. So let's start by adding our paint. I wanna start with the dark base. We're gonna scrunch in the art pop so we could be a bit more accurate with it then. Thank you. 
So we've got the base there. What we like to do next is get our white and we're gonna flood here so we can push it over this color. So I'm going to try and swipe this color over first. I'm going to get rid of those air bubbles again. Okay. Swipe over this color first and then we're going to blow it out. I've got a little bit there. So now, here comes the moment of truth, the hairdryer. Okay, let's go over with the apples here, open up some of those cells. Right, what I like to do as well is just blow out with, just use my mouth, some of those ones on the outside just to get that full effect now. I'm just going to run it down here a little bit too. Okay. I'm going to get paint in my hair, but that's fine. What we're going to try and do, we just have a couple splatter marks and I'm not sure if I'm loving that. So I'm just going to wipe over with a bit of white to see if we can get rid of a few of those. Now I'm going to leave them because I it looks like from the fire you've got all the little wispy bits coming up and I do, okay I like it. I'm going to leave it as this. <laughs> Okay, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it, I'm leaving it, I'm leaving it because I, for once, I'm happy with this. I'm going to bring you guys down in closer to have a full on look, but I love it. I just hope it dries nicely now, but I am so happy with this piece and I've finally done a Dutch pool that I like. <laughs> okay, so I've just brought you in closer. I absolutely love this piece. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Look at all the cells. Look at that. Colours have worked so nicely together, especially the gold. This is going to dry nice because of all the metallics. So I'll post on my Instagram a final photo once this one has dried in a few days. I am so happy. We're very sweaty because there was a lot of concentration. I don't even know if anything I said made sense, so I've got to go review the footage now. <laughs> hopefully this video, hopefully you've heard things that have helped you. Um, I'm just so happy that I was able to make one. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe for future videos, tutorials, how to, even just quick little TikToks that I'll be posting. Let me know what you guys want to see as well. If there's anything in particular you want me to cover or try, challenge me to anything, I don't mind. Just let me know down below what you want to see. And happy pour painting. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.